That's not groundwater. That's the water that goes straight to my house. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. So I got a dilemma over here. I want to, I want to take you guys over here to where I've been working the past uh, probably three days now. I've been working on a, a fence project for our pool to keep Rhineland out of the pool uh, so we don't have any kind of accidents. She'd have to unlock a gate to get in there. Um, it's just something we're going to do. Uh, it's just something that's going to make us feel better. It'll be safer. Um, but let me take you over there and show you. But I do have a problem, a pretty big problem that I've got to fix before I can even continue with this project. So let me show you what happened. Well, I goofed. Let me turn you around and show you. That's not good. That's not groundwater. That's the water that goes straight to my house. Uh, that's a day's worth of work. Okay, as you can see, <laughs> that's not a good thing. Even when I did it, I thought, you know, I'm really close. I'm really close to this water line, but I think it's, I think it was the other direction. I really thought it was. Um, so I went ahead and did it and there was no water leaking out, but I realized my T-post, I didn't want to go down too far on my T-post because the closer I go to that water line, there's a chance I would hit it. <sighs> so the T-post was not in as far as I wanted it. So I did two more hits and I think that's probably what got my water line was just that last one or two hits. So then I went over to do the next T post and I get that one in and it looks fine. There's no problems. And I look back over to the one I had just gotten done that you guys just saw. Sure enough, water was leaking out. I was like, dad gum, I did do it. So, and I know where the water line's at. I have two water lines there, an old one and a new one. Uh, and I knew I was on top of the new one, but I didn't think I was going to hit it. I thought it was over just a little. Anyway, we got to go fix it, so come along with me. Okay, so you guys probably are aware that I have a pool. We put this in last summer. We did not put a fence in because Rhineland wasn't here. We weren't really too worried about it. Uh, but they got here in September. Uh, we drained the pool. Wasn't worried about it then, but now we've got water in it. It's back to going. So obviously I need a fence and that's what y'all see here. All this is fence that I've been working on for the past three or four days. I've pretty much got it in. So yeah, this is the T post that hit the water line and really I only need one more T post. So it was my third to last T post that uh, hit the water line. So I'm trying to stay out of the wind cause it is windy out here today. Um, but all this uh, cattle panel, I do want to tell you all that a subscriber helped us pay for this. Um, Debbie Rogers, thank you very much. And I actually did shoot a little video at Trash Supply picking this up. Okay, I had to move on the other side of the shop where it's not so windy. So Debbie Rogers, thank you very much for helping us pay for this. She sent us a gift certificate to Tractor Supply. To Tractor Supply. Uh, I hope you don't mind us using it on safety of our grandkids instead of like the goats or something like that. But this is just a temporary fence. I am going to remove this probably this fall and build a permanent fence. That'll have the actual, we're gonna actually use the goat fencing, not the cattle panels. So these cattle panels will be used for goats and cows and stuff like that later on. But right now I'm gonna use it for a temporary fence. Look how windy it is. It is so windy. So the stuff I ordered to fix my um, microphone did not work. Um, it's just not a good connection, so you could still hear all the wind. It was like not even using a mic. So I'm gonna order one more part and hopefully that comes in and it actually works. Uh, so, so I can get rid of some of this wind noise. You can see this is the one I just put in. This is the one that leaked. So I need to start digging it up uh, so I can fix the leak there. And that's kind of what this video will probably be about. I'm not really gonna show you a whole lot of that. So something like this can really uh, make you angry. I'm not that kind of person though. Uh, it makes me laugh at myself instead of angry. I know a lot of people would get angry about this or if you have someone do this and they make a mistake like this, you get angry at them or whatever. Uh, we all need to keep ourselves in check with that kind of stuff. Um, so I did not get angry at this. I did take a break right after that because I think by me being really tired and sweating to death out here, 
that could have been part of the cause of this. I was just tired, uh, not focusing right, because I knew the water line was here. I should have, I should have looked for it better. So, you know, the Bible does tell us to be slow to anger. Uh, so that's kind of what I practice with this kind of stuff. I don't get mad at myself on this. And I know a lot of y'all probably do when y'all make little silly mistakes like this. Hopefully you don't. Um, hopefully you live more towards like the Bible and you're slow to anger and you can get past these and laugh at yourself or laugh at your neighbor that helps you or your wife or whoever. And, and you can get past these little silly mistakes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is dig this one up real quick. It's going to be a pretty big circle, pretty big round hole right here because I've got to get all the way down to the water line, which is two foot deep. That is a six and a half foot T-post. Let me measure and see how much is out of the ground real quick. So that was exactly four and a half feet above ground. So that means two feet is in the ground because that's a six and a half foot T-post. And that's exactly where my water line is. So I probably... If I would have just not hit those last two hits, it probably wouldn't even have happened. Uh, all right, let's get started. Okay, so y'all should be able to see the white line, PEX line down there, that's the water line. The black one above it is like the cable line or the phone line, I guess, for Chickasaw. Uh, and that is probably gonna be the same line they try to run fiber optics through one of these days. We don't use the Chickasaw right now, but we do use the water. So Brennan thinks that's deeper than two feet, but I think it's right at two feet. We'll measure here in a minute. Yeah, you're not, that's, you're not going to be good enough there. Ooh, maybe so. Okay, yeah, squeeze, squeeze the end that's around the pipe as you turn. Like so. Yep. Water is off. Okay, just to show y'all, we have cut the pipe. Obviously the T-post hit right between those two cuts and just cracked the pipe is what it did. So we cut around it, cut that out. We have an ace in our town, so I had to run up to ace to get the couplings. I had to buy two, obviously. I wanna go on each end of these two pipes and then I'll use this and splice in the piece I need, the size I need. It's, it's like 100 degrees out here today, and I don't think we dug our hole big enough, so we didn't give ourselves enough elbow room to work, but we got it done. So it is sealed up. It's a little dirty, but I'm gonna go turn the water on. Brendan's gonna call me if there's any leaks. Yeah, you better get back. You got babies to feed. So I'm walking out to turn the water on. One of Brendan's goats is out. There's a low spot in the fence that she just jumps right over. She's a good jumper. All right, let's go turn the water on. I'll leave the key out here, the water key. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it. Brought pliers with me this time, because it's hot. All right, let's turn it on. All right, I'm gonna hang up and call Brennan so he can tell me if it's leaking. Oh my gosh, it's windy right when I start videoing. Hold on a second, the wind's blowing. Okay, so what was what I was wanting to say in the wind, wind started blowing really bad. So I wanted Brennan to turn the water on so we can get some flow through there to see if it was leaking. So I'm walking all the way back to the house, turning the faucets on, get some water to go through the pipes. Well. All right, Brendan says we're good. There's no leak. So I'm gonna leave it like this overnight and come out and see if it's wet at all. So I'll continue my <laughs> fence project tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next morning. I have not looked in the hole yet to see if there's any water accumulated. So you guys are gonna look with me. 
hopefully we're good. Water pressure is great in the house, so I don't think we'll have a leak. Okay, good job. No leak, no wet dirt. I'm, I'm gonna get down there and actually fill around, make sure there is no water standing on the pipe or anything. As long as we're good there, we're gonna continue with this. I'm trying to look and see how close I can get to the pipe. Obviously, I'm just gonna have to go right up against it to, to still be in line with this, but I, got, I still got another T-post to put in. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. nervous about putting this T-post in here. It's going to be a little crooked because I'm going to, I'm actually going to back up a little bit. Here's real soft because I left the water running overnight about three nights ago and a lot of it pulled up right here. Good enough. I didn't hit anything. So y'all can probably see the sweat rolling off me. It's like a little after 11. It's only 86 degrees, I think, right now. It's supposed to be in the 90s, so I gotta get this done before it gets too hot. So I did put two more T-posts in, because from here, from this T-post right there to this one, is one cattle panel. And then from this one to that one there is another cattle panel. Then I'll have a, I'll have a, a small walkthrough gate right there. I have got the panels up. They're all secure. It's ready to go. The only thing I'm working on now was when I built my gates down there, I got two gates down there. I cut off all this excess. So it's not gonna match up just like that back fence did. Like that back fence is, let's see, one, two, three, four panels. So this wasn't gonna match up correctly because I, I cut some of this stuff off. So this is what I have left over. So that's basically what I cut out of my fence, that gate or that this opening. So I'm gonna make this into another gate. That way if we ever, I don't know if we ever, like this hall is gonna move. We're gonna get rid of all this, clean this up. But if we ever decide to use this little, I mean, this can be a fence right here, you know. If we ever decide to use this for a dog or something, that'd be kind of handy to have a gate where we can get in right here we won't have to go through those gates. My idea is to just bend these, you know, just put a, just bend them back this direction and hook them on this and use that as a hinge. And then that opening will be perfect. So this was my leftover. This was my leftover area. So I think that's what I'm gonna try. Give that a try and see if it works out all right. But I am gonna go take about a 30 minute break, eat some lunch real quick rehydrate so I don't get any kind of heat problems so I'll be right back okay y'all so this is that opening that I just showed you instead of bending those around I just cut them off and I went back with just using my uh, lock jaws I, I like this this right here works really well I would open it for you but I've already got it closed and I don't have anything to latch this with and I'm not I don't plan on using this gate for a while so for now, it's just permanently closed. I've tied some wire off on it and I'll clip these. I'm gonna go around and clip every one of these. Like I'll clip this and I'll bend it to where you can't really just get scratched on it. Uh, I have several of them throughout the fence. So this is my eight foot gate. 
that I can get a riding lawnmower in. I could probably get my tr tractor in there, really, if I wanted to. It's going to be kind of tough getting it, you know. Not that I have any reason to have a tractor in here. But anyway, I do have it permanently tied off for now as well. This is the gate we're going to be using. This is just going to be a walkthrough gate. Uh, I'm going to go back and file these down so we don't scratch ourselves on these. Like that one... I don't know if you'd really scratch yourself. It's not bad at all, but there are some that are really bad. And then I also started cleaning the pool a little bit. I did some vacuuming, added some chlorine. I got chlorine in my eye, so now my eye's burning. <laughs> uh, but I still got probably two days, three days of work on this pool to get it clean enough to swim in. So all this dirt was here all through the drought last summer and all winter. I mean, it's obviously still here. And I moved a bunch way down here, if you can see it. So all this dirt ended up in my pool because I didn't cover it. So I still have a lot of vacuuming to do. I'm be, I've been getting out dirt and I'm talking like enough to fill up two or three five gallon buckets. It's terrible. Uh, vacuuming as well, but also use this small vacuum that's inside my pool. Uh, it just constantly vacuums and then when it fills up enough, it stops. I come out and drain it and, and clean it out and it's... I mean, like, there's one spot where I cleaned it, and I've got several. I've probably cleaned that thing out 30 times in the last three days. <laughs> and it's just still going. It's nonstop. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. It's a little different than the puppies and the goats. Uh, but I thought I'd switch it up a little bit, kind of show you a little problem I ran into. Um, and like I was saying earlier in the video, there's no reason to get angry at that kind of stuff. Laugh at yourself when that those kind of little mistakes happen get out of the wind so seriously you, you, this is something that i shouldn't get angry at and i didn't uh, i did a good job of just blowing it off going and taking a break coming out fixing it and i know earlier in the video i mentioned that it would take me all day to fix it it only took me 45 minutes so it's not that big of a deal um you just got to breathe through those kind of things don't let yourself get angry and and move past it all right hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys on the next one remember do the good Come along and ride with us through this life journey.